Hey everyone, my name is Ashley and today we're going to answer the question, what are the CE requirements for a CompTIA Security Plus certification? Now we get this question a lot and the short answer is, you need to submit 50 qualifying CEUs in order to renew your Security Plus certification. However, if you're searching for this, you're probably looking for a little bit more information than that and more geared towards what activities qualify as being CE bearing for Security Plus. So we put together a little list of everything that CompTIA considers their approved activities. So let's go through that first. The first thing, earn a non-CompTIA certification. Things that would count for this are like your CEH, CISSP, any more advanced security related certifications. Take a CompTIA or non-CompTIA training course. Take a college course. Now for this, it has to be between three to four credit hours in order for it to count. Teach a course. Create instructional material. Complete an American Council of Education accredited course. Attend a live webinar. And no, this recording does not count for that. Sorry, guys. Attend a conference. And finally, you can use your work experience. However, for any of these activities, they need to, in one way or another, relate back to the Security Plus exam objectives. Another thing to keep in mind is that CompTIA does place restrictions on the max number of CEUs you can use per activity within every three-year cycle. So to break that down for you, you can earn one CEU for every hour spent at a conference. However, CompTIA has maxed out the conference activities to 10 CEUs. So if you attend a week-long conference, you're spending five days, about eight hours a day there, theoretically you would have 40 CEUs. However, because of this max, you can only submit 10 of those CEUs in order to qualify as renewal for your Security Plus certification, and you're left towards finding the other 40 in other activities. Now, if you're trying to just get the CEUs you need, quick and as easy as possible, your best bet would be able to take a certification exam. So it was that first activity where you could take your CEH or your CISSP. Taking that certification exam, you will get the max number of CEUs required to renew your Security Plus certification. So the requirement is 50. You take CEH, you're going to get 50, and you can use all 50 of those CEUs towards renewing your Security Plus. However, we understand that sometimes you just don't want to make the financial investment into a new training course or you're not ready to receive another certification or you don't want to advance to a higher certification that is going to require more stringent CE requirements into the future. We get that. There are ways that you can get around kind of the extra cost towards maintaining your CE requirements. You can mix and match a lot of the activities above in order to still renew your Security Plus certification. Now our suggestion, if you're trying to find the most reasonably priced way of renewing your Security Plus, would be to find as many tr free training sessions as you can. Now we offer between one and three hours of free training sessions every month through our socials, our meetups. There's a lot of opportunities to come in and get CEUs and other places do things that are similar. Look for any free live webinars. And another great way is that if you love to write, every blog post that you write in which 50% of the content reflects the Security Plus exam objectives, you'll get one CEU. And you can do as many as 16 blog posts for the max of 16 CEU requirements. So there are a lot of ways, both expensive and inexpensive, that you can choose from in order to renew your Security Plus certification. You just need to find the combination that works best for you. Now, if you have questions about what you can do as far as finding activities that are reasonably priced and will still get you the CEs that you need, reach out to us. We're always here to help and we love finding opportunities like this for our students. So you can email us at promo at phoenixcs.com Send us a message in the comments below, or you can even connect with us on any of our social media pages. All right, we look forward to helping you, and we hope that this video blog was pretty useful. All right, until next time, bye.